Welcome to Channel Every Resolves, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Fried, and today we're playing Mono Blue Flyers. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so let's take a look at this deck list real quick before we hop into the gameplay, and then if you stick around until the outro, I'll cover what's in the sideboard here and what I think my options will be going forward with this deck list, but let's take a look. So we have Combat Research and Consider. Combat Research can target a creature that we've got, and you can enchant it, and then if it's a legendary creature, you get a plus one, plus one on it, but we don't have any legendary creatures. So what we're doing is whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. That's what we're wanting off of this, and we're wanting to target Storm Chase or drake as much as possible with it however we'll use it on anything because if we target it we just get the extra uh card draw we do have three considers in here we look at the top card of our library you can put that card in your graveyard if you want and then of course you draw a card we have fading hope for a little bit of evasion on our creatures if we absolutely need it we can also utilize it against our opponent's creatures strategically just to return back to the hand and then if the creature's value is mana three or less you get to scry one i like using this against creatures so we can set up the scry and then we can also set up a instant or sorcery on the top for delver of secrets to flip we have shore up you uh, target creature you control gets plus one plus one and gains hex proof until the end of turn and you can untap it so there's a combat trick in there as well um this is only your creatures on shore up so if you've got creatures that tacked in and then your opponent decides to tack in and say you've got like a gen on the board and it's like a five four and you can block up one of their creatures then if it's tapped all you do is cast shore up on it you give it a plus one plus one now it's a six five and you untap it and you can use it to block to take out one of their creatures uh not too many people are expecting it yet since it's one of the newer cards but it's a really cool just i don't know i don't know if it's even cool it's just cute it's a cute combat trick <laughs> but it is evasion for our creatures so they can stay on the board Again, more evasion with slip out the back. You put plus one, plus one counter on a target creature and it phases out. Now you can use this on your opponent's creatures too, strategically towards the end of the game. So if they got flyers in the air that could block up yours and you just need to phase it out to push through that last little bit of damage, feel free to use slip out the back on their creatures. It's not going to really matter. And if you've got like this and then uh, March of Swirling Mist and you're two swings away, then feel free to use both of them on their uh, opponent's creatures through each of those steps so you can get your two combats through to close out the game. So there is some strategy within the deck, but it works really easy, and it was a lot of fun to play with. So that was Slip Out the Bag, and then March of the Swirling Mist, of course, one of the marches from Kamigawa. It's instant. It's two less to cast for each card exiled when you cast it, as long as it's got blue in it. We don't really have to do that most of the time. We don't have mana problems at all. But the X is up to X target creatures phase out and you target the creatures and you phase them out. So it's more evasion for your creatures if you need to keep them on the board. But you can also, again, use it against your opponent's creatures to attack through and get through that last little bit of damage. Then we have a little bit of counter action going on here with Make Disappear and Essence Capture. And Make Disappear, of course, you cast it and then counter target spell unless it's controller pace two. And you can do the casualty cost as well if you want just to repeat the process. Essence Capture is there. It's two blue. You can counter target spell, creature spell, and put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. So Essence Capture may be the wrong card for this deck list because Jen gives all your instant sorcery spells one colorless less to cast. So if you wanted to change this to Essence Scatter, you could, but you could change that to a lot of things. There's no real wrong answer, but we'll hop into that on the outro. For our creature package, we've got Delver of Secrets of 4. It comes in as 1-1. One, one. If you uh, reveal an instant or a sorcery on your upkeep, you get to flip it to a 3-2 flyer. Ledger Shredder, it's got flying, and whenever you cast, or whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives, which means you draw a card, and then if you discard a non-land card, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Storm Chaser Drake is a 2-1 flyer, and whenever it becomes the target of a spell you control, you get to draw a card. And then Hadi Jin's a flyer, which power is equal to the instance of sorcery cards in your graveyard, and it's got a toughness of four. So it's a really good creature to have on the board. I'm actually really enjoying Jin a whole lot more than I thought I would. Um, but yeah, and it also makes your instant and sorcery spells co uh, you cast cost one colorless less to cast. And it only affects your side of the board. So it's not like one of those ones that will affect both sides like Thalia. 
we have 22 islands in here because we only have a 1.5 casting cost average and i haven't had a problem with mana since we've done this so the only thing i've had problems with is patience like getting to three mana before i cast my storm uh chaser drake so i've at least got enough mana to back it up with a little bit of evasion uh i become a little too impatient with it so maybe just stay patient with it like one turn so instead of seeing these as like a uh, two drops and a three drop maybe look at them as a three drop and a four drop your Delver of secrets get it on the board as quickly as possible it doesn't matter i mean if they're going to kill it with like cut down or something they're going to do it on its other flip side as well but if you reveal an instant or sorcery off the top of your deck you're going in with three two damage right off the bat so get delver down as quickly as possible maybe wait an extra turn to start casting these because these are the ones you want to keep on the board more just because of their effects that they have with the game state. All right, guys, that's it. I got, that's all I got. I'm going to let you guys get to the gameplay. I'll see you on the outro, and we'll talk more about the sideboard. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Here's Mono Blue Flyers. Stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace. So maybe we do have to draw more. Maybe I should quit messing around with trying to control the game. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Still need to hit another land. We got a couple turns to do that. Oh yeah, this is perfect. No land. All right, so we leave Fading Hope up. I don't really want to drop this because they probably got play with fire and lightning strike and everything. And we've got protection. We just need a land. Land. There we go. All right, so with Storm Tracer out, we've got protection. Hopefully they don't have like double back-to-back -back burns. They probably will, but we can start drawing some cards. That would be great. What are they playing? Nine and chance, yeah, Stokes, but it's really 
not good. <laughs> I mean, it is, apparently. They're doing fine against me, but I would think without Skulls, I'd be, I'd be off this. Leo B, how's it going, buddy? It's Friday, man. We're just kind of relaxing. It's, yesterday was busy out our mind. Today we're kind of relaxing and recording, man. Having fun, having fun. Um, sure. This may actually work out the way I want it to. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm so happy. They're going to be happy that they get this. Okay, so two less for each car next out this way. GG's. Hell yeah, man. Whew. I like it. I like it. I do. I don't know the essence captures the right card. We may have to put something else in there. GG's. Uh, that's horrible. <laughs> Mulligan. Uh, we'll keep. Damn. protect out of this so cool
Alright, we'll wait and see how they play it. Meat hook. I have no idea what they're playing yet. Are they doing like five color Jota, Storm the Festival stuff? So just to the sixth lane and Storm the Festival? Maybe. Okay, now we can do it. I figured as much. Let's see if they got another one. They do not. <laughs> so one of ours misses. It's great. Awesome. Probably should have left Essence Capture up just in case with their casting creature we get the Storm Chaser out. But we did not. Interesting. Okay. stupid. Jen counters one. I needed them both open. Man. Open. I think Diagraph's on seven. No. Nope. Yeah. It's all right. They've already played one though. Doesn't copy. Woof. Okay. 
We kind of eked out that one. I played it all wrong. All wrong. But yeah, we eked it out. Cool. GG's. Oh, the new store avatar is up. Cool. Um, kind of want a creature. They go first. I mean, we could buy some time. No, need a creature. And the game said no. <laughs> All right. Damn. Fine. We're going to get wrecked. We're gonna have a turn three, so we're just gonna go ahead and do make disappear. We got fading hope up for when uh, we try to attach it. Borrowed time. I don't know. get it if we do it's gonna be close well I don't know about close <laughs> they just they didn't bring their weaver back down sure so Jen okay So we get six through. Man, we kind of really need a way to want another slip out the back. Okay. Sure. Okay. Hopefully they do their plays before their attacks. That's fine. Fine. All fine. See how this goes. Oh yeah. They're gonna go all in on that lifelink. <laughs> <laughs> GG's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> GG's.
All right, guys, there was gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Does it have legs? Not necessarily. You want to close out the game by five or, or turn five or six. Uh, anything after that, you eked out the game and you got the win and cool. But you really, this deck's supposed to go super fast as quickly as possible. So I'd love to find ways to draw more. But with that said, um, I'm going to leave both deck lists in the description below. You guys can take it out. There's something there because it does win games, but I don't think this is the best um, build. So if you guys do something that works for you, definitely let me know because I'm really interested in this one. But I would say going forward, I'm going to do the whip pan. All right, guys, so going forward, this is what I would do. I would take out the three essence captures. I'd put in two negates just to stop some of like the borrowed times and stuff like that. Maybe the temporary lockdown or meat hook massacre if you run into it. Uh, and then there's just some other options as well. You've got the planes walkers and stuff coming down too. So I think negate goes a little wider than the essence capture does for us. Uh, make disappear. You can usually tell what your, uh, what your uh, opponent's playing by their turn two, turn three. So depending on what turn you're on and who went first, you can leave it open in anticipation of what they're going to cast and just block that out. Um, I would have taken Storm Chaser Drake down to three, but we really want the Drake there for the targeting so we can draw more cards faster. So I took Ledger Shredder down by one. I took Jim down by one. And then, of course, the other um, Essence Capture. And we're putting in three Fairy Vandals because usually we can draw more than one card each turn and start kicking off that plus one plus one a fairy vandal and it's just another flyer so do i think it's the best list no not necessarily do i think we need to close out the game really fast yeah you probably need to win it by turn five or six or you probably lost um but there is a lot of different style strategies you can utilize with bouncing your opponent's creatures phasing your opponent's creatures out or phasing yours out or bouncing yours and vice versa um, some other options that you could possibly utilize is Cradle of Safety. Um, when it enters the battlefield, your enchanted creature gains Hexproof and it gets plus one, plus one. I mean, it's an option, but I prefer Combat Research because we'd rather be drawing cards. Disdainful Stroke's an option with one of the negates or a Make Disappear. But again, it's late. We're looking for that. I mean, you're looking at mana value four or higher when you're trying to counter off a disdainful stroke. And if you're that far in the game, you, you need to be focusing on closing it out with the phase outs and stuff in your flyers. So I don't know that that's necessarily good. Uh, essence scatter is probably better than essence capture in the deck list just because of what Jen does with the colorless mana and turning that into one blue impulse was something that i thought about but it doesn't draw the card you just put it in your hand so i would say that's out and dissipate is a hard counter that you could possibly use if you wanted to but by then you get it online turn three by turn three you need to be playing gin and then yeah that costs two i mean it's still an option but you still need to be closing the game out which means you need to be focusing more down this row with these creatures on the board so I would probably not use that option. So there's three solid options you could think of. I don't even know about Disdainful Stroke, but well, it won't let me stack them. But that's what I've got. If you guys think of something else that worked really well for you, please leave it in the comments below. I think there's something there with this one. It does win. you got to close out the game fast. So is it the new aggro? No, it doesn't have enough evasion and it doesn't have enough protection. And it's not consistent enough in the draws. Now, if we had it like, a better draw card to throw in here definitely let me know because that's what we're missing but memory deluge is not the answer because that's turn four and turn seven and like i said we need to be focused on closing out by then so we need something between one and three and i don't think there is anything other than consider um i didn't pay a lot of attention while i was going through trying to select the cards so if you guys know of something that i missed definitely let me know all right guys with that there's a deck list. I'll put them both down below, the before and after. I hope you guys have a great one. Enjoy the deck list. Stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace.